Hello and welcome to the Climbing Daily Friday Gear Show. Now, as climbers, chalk is probably something that we buy and use more than any other type of climbing gear, but it can be a bewildering world to get started in. So today we're going to take you through the basics of the different types of chalk and when you might need to buy them. When you first walk into a climbing wall, you're engulfed in a cloud of chalk. It's just synonymous with climbing. And climbers have been using the drying and gripping agents in chalk for years in order to send their projects. Now, everyone has a different opinion on chalks and what constitutes a good chalk. Lots of brands now have their own versions and are bringing out different models all the time. From super cheap to finger sweatingly expensive, there's a vast range to choose from. Now, Camp have sent us a bunch of chalk recently because we're going to be doing a sponsored video with them soon. But I thought we should use Camp's chalk as an example to this video as we talk through the different types available. So first of all, why do we need climbing chalk at all? Well, chalk helps fight moisture and sweat and improves the grip between the climber's hand and the hold they're trying to grab onto. But actually, there's a difference between normal chalk and climbing chalk. Normal chalk is made out of calcium carbonate, and that actually absorbs water and dissolves in water. Whereas climbing chalk is magnesium carbonate, which doesn't. Considering half the job of chalk is to fight against sweat, if you just use normal chalk, it's going to run off your hands when things get hot. So if you're thinking about saving money using massive basketfuls of industrial normal chalk, just don't bother. Sadly, you need the specialist stuff. Now, if you're into your roped climbing, you'll often see climbers climbing up the wall with something like this, a chalk bag attached to them somewhere near their waist. Now, a chalk bag is a way of carrying chalk up the route. Therefore, the climber can reach in and chalk their hands up if they're especially hot and sweaty or if they need a little extra grip for that crux move. Now, you can put a variety of different things inside of a chalk bag. And the first one we're going to look at is a chalk ball. Here's uh, my very sad example of one. As you can see, this is at the end of its life and it's all flat. But when they're full, they're nice and round and packed with chalk. To chalk up, you simply reach your hand into the bag and touch that chalk ball. The chalk ball is made out of little material with holes in it so the chalk can come through those holes onto your hand. Now, the advantages of a chalk ball is it's very, very good at not wasting the chalk. It's contained within that little material sack and within a chalk bag. So you won't lose some, but you would do with loose chalk if you dropped or moved around that chalk ball. It's also very easy to quickly coat your hands and it's one quick dab and a squeeze and off you go ready. However, some people don't like the feeling of that lumpy chalk ball in the back of your chalk bag. And for them, well, you need to look at a looser alternative. When climbing chalk first became a thing, it was sold in blocks to climbers. And in fact, some brands are still doing this. In fact, this is Camp's block chalk here. It's in very, very discreet packaging and you can chop it to the thickness and the coarseness that you want. However, brands have also done the thinking for you on this one, and now lots have different thicknesses of chalk. In fact, some have several throughout the spectrum. So this is Camp's Chunky and Velvet Chalk, and the names relate to the thickness and the coarseness of the chalk, the texture of it. Chunky chalk is perhaps more like traditional chalk with bigger particles and bits in it, whereas velvet is part of the new super fine chalk craze that is flooding the climbing market. And in fact, we did an entire show on super fine chalks, and I've linked that down below. But for those of you who don't know, what is a super fine chalk? Well, it feels a bit like talcum powder chalk for your hands. It's like water. You dip your hands in, come out, and very quickly your entire hand is coated in a fine layer of chalk. Now, there are pros and cons to this. The pros are the fact that it sticks very, very quickly to your hand, and on long, delicate pitches when you're using your hands a lot, it will stay on. But for big, slappy moves, it tends to puff out of your hand, losing it quicker, and also it can be lost from your chalk bag far more easily. And remember, this is all about what we're putting in our chalk bag. So you can buy that block chalk, 
chop it up. Buy chunky chalk, put it in, or super fine chalk and put it in. It's up to you, but it's all designed to help you when you're climbing up a route. If you're a boulderer, you'll want to get a bouldering bucket if you're serious. A bouldering bucket is another way of storing our chalk in, and it's a size upgrade on that chalk bag that we saw earlier. The boulder bucket goes on the floor. It has a big space. You put loads of chalk into it. Now, you could put chalk balls in here, but most people tend to use crushed chalk of some type. But again, which one do you go for? Now, personally, when I'm bouldering, I tend to look towards the chunky end of the spectrum. That's because bouldering is often about big, powerful moves. And I find when the chalk is a bit thicker, it stays on your hand better when you're making those big slaps. The super fine stuff tends to blow away. Also, because a bouldering bucket is large with a large hole in the top, if you fill it with super fine chalk, throw it on the ground casually, a lot of it will poof up and go away, whereas thicker chalk tends to sit in the bottom better. Of course, it's up to you. It's down to personal preference. Just make sure you get a bouldering bucket and some chalk to fill it up in. For our final main type of climbing chalk, well, you might have seen people standing in climbing walls, squeezing something onto their hands, blowing on them and flapping them around like some kind of deranged bird. Now that stuff is liquid chalk and it comes in a container like this. Now liquid chalk is usually a combination of alcohol and magnesium carbonate. You put it on your hands, the alcohol dries away, leaving the magnesium carbonate, a chalky hand. Although it looks like a usual colorless liquid when you put it onto your hand, once it's dried, it will look like normal chalk. Now, some brands are actually moving away from alcohol-based liquid chalks. For example, Friction Labs, they're big on this. And there's no real disadvantages. In fact, it's meant to be better on your skin and last longer. The only one downside is that it can take a little longer to dry onto your hands. But for the sake of a few extra seconds, it might be worth it for better skin. Now, Camp have a new product that I'm kind of excited by, which is liquid chalk with POF in it, the legendary tree sap resin that climbers have been using for a while. Now, this is actually a fairly controversial thing, so it should be interesting about how Camp have put it into a liquid chalk, and I can't wait to try out this bad boy. So why might you need liquid chalk? Well, they're excellent at battling sweat and moisture. So in hot, humid countries or by sea cliffs when there's lots of water in the air, that's when they excel. And for DWS, deep water soloing, well, you're gonna have to pick up some liquid chalks. The downside, they can be a bit harsh on your skin, and also they do take a while to apply and dry. So you're not gonna be putting liquid chalk on halfway up the route. For that, you need a chalk bag with some loose or powdered or block chalk in it. So that's some of the main types of chalk available. And it's always worth remembering that brands are constantly trying to improve their ingredients and their designs. They've moved away from dry agents and fillers, and now they're going for quality, pure magnesium carbonate wherever they can. Do try out lots of different brands and see what works best for your skin. I wanted to bring something up though, which is the Seven Sisters new chalk packaging. Now I've used Seven Sisters for a while. It's a fantastically priced, very, very fine chalk. And now it's in a recyclable container. Obviously when you're buying chalk, plastics and other materials aren't best, especially when you're repeatedly buying them. So it's nice to see climbing companies thinking about the environment. And as climbers, we are conscientious. So I'm looking forward to using this. There's there's links in the description below if you want to see some of the products we're chatting about and do let me know what your favorite types of chalk are. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.